what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A former 911 operator located in Houston, I am ashamed to say, has been sentenced. Krishanda Williams, 44 years old, was found guilty on Wednesday following a trial in Harris County of interference with emergency telephone calls after repeatedly hanging up the phone while working at the Houston Emergency Center before she was caught red-handed and fired in August 2016. So how did they bust her? Glad you asked. Okay, so they conducted an audit of 911 calls to the HEC uh, location, and they discovered an unusual amount of high short calls, calls that lasted less than 20 seconds. And they attributed these calls to Krenshanda from October 2015 to March 2016. One emergency caller by the name of Jim Moten rang 911 in 2016 to say that he had spotted a car accident where two people were killed. He said that she hung up the phone on him and he had reportedly heard her say, ain't nobody got time for that. For real. This is what she said. Other 911 short calls to Williams included reports of robberies and homicides. Uh, the district attorney said that the reason why she didn't take the calls or she got off the calls early was because she didn't feel like talking. Following a three-day trial, she was sentenced to get this, y'all, a mere 18 months worth of probation and 10 days in jail. Oh, it must be nice to be on the inside. Can you imagine what would have happened to a normal citizen with that type of negligence? Can you imagine how many people who needed help couldn't get that help on time because of her? I bet you if they were to go back through those calls and try to match up some of the serious incidents where people actually lost their lives, or people were severely injured, people may have even lost like expensive property, directly related to her incompetence. I'm pissed off. This is literally hitting home. You know, it's people in Harris County who pay their taxes, who rely on these services, rely on 911 dispatch to dispatch the damn calls to emergency services. And look at her. Well, she really looks like an honest, decent, law-abiding citizen, don't she? Got the face of evil. I'm just sitting here thinking, man, like how many people who needed her services, who needed those services, those emergency services, and got her on the other end and just didn't get the help that they needed in time? This happens all over the United States with people who work government jobs. People, it's so many people that work government jobs who are the bottom of the barrel. I'm just, I just, I'm just telling you the truth. Some of y'all who work in government jobs, y'all know I'm telling the truth. And if you're offended about what I'm saying, that's because you one of those people. But people who work in government jobs, they are some of the sorriest, laziest, do-nothing people that this country has produced. Here's what has me stumped. How in hell did it take that long to catch her? You mean to tell me she hung up on thousands of people before y'all caught her? There are company presidents who call their places of business periodically 
just to see how the receptionist will handle the phone call. 911, maybe you guys should try that. It is an emergency, you know. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.